I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Villaverde. Welcome to this local edition of The Balancing Act. On today's The Balancing Act, South Florida edition, I'll sit down with the leaders of the Atlantic Institute of Oriental Medicine. They had a huge grand opening, and we were there. Also, from Bethel Mausoleum, Mike Surowitz and Rabbi Jessica. And we're in the kitchen with Chef Ralph Pagano. No one wants to think about their own mortality, so planning your funeral can understandably make you feel overwhelmed. One study actually reported that 65% of people felt it was important to communicate their funeral plans and wishes to family members prior to their own death, yet only 21% has done so. So here to discuss options for pre-planning are Bethel Mausoleum Director Mike Sirowitz and Rabbi Jessica Spitalnik Brockman. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for being here. Uh, Mike, let me start with you. I mean, I, it's understandable that people say we should do it, but they don't. It's a, it's a tough, it's a tough thing to communicate. Absolutely. And we understand that. That's why we're here to find out more about their needs and help them with the process. Because the reality is pre-planning really is a good thing. There are a lot of benefits. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The greatest gift that one can give to their loved ones, a spouse, a significant other, their children, is to have arrangements in place prior to need. Mm -hmm. uh, when someone passes, the family is grieving. They sure. need to mourn. Uh, it's not the time to be making significant life decisions uh, financial decisions, emotional decisions. Uh, it's a burden that you're taking away from your children in a good way. And Rabbi, I think it's really important because uh, my parents have everything planned and they always say, we just don't want to put the burden on you or Richard. So, and I appreciate that. I really do because like, you know, Mike said, it's a, it's a time of mourning. It's a time that you don't want to be thinking of things. So it makes a difference and, and there's so many spiritual aspects at uh, Bethel Mausoleum. Can we talk about that? Absolutely. So we are the only mausoleum that is on synagogue grounds. And when you are part of Bethel Mausoleum, you're really part of the larger Bethel community. And the tradition of above ground burial goes back to biblical times. Abraham for his wife Sarah and all the matriarchs and patriarchs established the cave of Machpelah in Hebron, which was above ground burial. And because we're a reform synagogue, cremation is also one of your options. And we have niches for cremation as well. It's truly a beautiful spiritual place to give comfort and strength at a time that can be very difficult difficult and the mausoleum resonates with that comfort. There's art throughout the mausoleum that reflects Jewish tradition from the 23rd Psalm that hangs above, above the space where we do services to glass art that reflects Jewish traditions and symbols and beautiful mosaics that reflect biblical stories. The whole space is a space of comfort and strength and spirituality at a time that can be very difficult and complicated. You mentioned the 23rd third psalm. Uh, that's my mom's favorite one, oh. and she always told me that psalm as a child. So right now, you just ignited a memory for me. And when you walk the grounds, Mike, it, it's, it's so peaceful, it's so calm, so serene. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful space. We take great pride in maintaining the serenity, the comfort. Uh, there's space for everybody to mourn in a way that's right for them. When people come in, we sit, we talk, we find out about their needs, what their family situation is. And when you come to visit, we want it to be a comfortable, peaceful place. So whether you're sitting on a marble bench outside or by the tree of remembrance or inside by a beautiful uh, mosaic or, or stained glass window, mm -hmm. uh, you know that you are in a very, very peaceful, comfortable place. And you also make it easy for families when it comes to that pre-planning, correct? Absolutely. And I neglected to mention before, there's a tremendous cost benefit to pre-planning as well. Obviously, you lock in today's prices rather than what the cost may be 10, 15, 30 years later. And Rabbi, the community, it's just amazing. The patrons, it, it, there's a huge bond. Yeah, Bethel is an incredible community. And when you are part of Bethel Mausoleum, you are part of the synagogue community as well. It's a place where Jewish tradition is alive and well. And as a part of Bethel, you have access to us for pastoral visits, for hospital visits, People are in nursing homes. They are part of our community and a life. And in addition, you have a place to enhance your Jewish spirituality and tradition as part of our worship services and life cycle events. It's, it's truly a beautiful, vibrant community. And the mausoleum reflects that in any, every way. 
Such a pleasure to have you both. For our viewers who'd like to learn more about Bethel Mausoleum, where can they go, Mike? BethelMausoleum.org. Thank you. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. Appreciate Thank your you. time. And if you'd like more information, you can also check out our website, thebalancingact.com. When we come back, we'll sit down with leaders of the Atlantic Institute of Oriental Medicine. Stay with us. Traditional Chinese medicine has evolved over the past 5,000 years to provide a holistic approach to relieve pain, treat chronic illness, and promote health and wellness using techniques such as acupuncture and cupping. At the Atlantic Institute of Oriental Medicine College of Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine, students are trained in the diagnostic and treatment system of traditional Chinese medicine with a goal to become highly skilled acupuncture and oriental medicine practitioners. Here to discuss more on this is President Dr. Johanna Yen and her successor, Dr. Fu Di. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Uh, Dr. Yen, I wanted to start with you. Your school I was reading here has been around for almost 25 years. Wow, share your history. I have to thank God. Mm -hmm. This is God's gift. Second, I have to send my motherland, China. He gave me the medical knowledge. Third, I love America. We start from only 240 square feet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 10 students, three teachers, the new place at the downtown for the Lauderdale. We have 130 students now. We have 20 professors and the workers. Wow, you've done so much in 25 years, Dr. Yen. You also recently named Dr. D as successor to the Institute. Tell me why that was important for you. Because I'm old. Age will stop, but the school is forever. I needed somebody to take over, so I chose Fudi to be my successor and made the school getting better and better and forever. Dr. D, oh, what an honor to have her name you the successor, right? Proud. Very proud. Very what a proud. privilege. I can see that. Now tell us about the degree programs that are offered at the Institute. We train the students in uh, diagnostic and the treatment systems in traditional Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. And uh, we offer very comprehensive engaging classes in the basic biomedicine, acupuncture, oriental medicine. Uh, yet we offer both uh, the graduate and postgraduate degrees, masters and a doctorate. The masters uh, you only need uh, 60 uh, college credits to enter, but you graduate with a bachelor in health science and a master in acupuncture and oriental medicine. The DOM, the Doctor of Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine, is designed to train very specialized expert clinicians because we, we do provide them with very unique clinical experiences in internal medicine. And besides education, I understand you also offer health care? Yeah, we have the Atom Intern Clinic, uh, where we provide a very effective and cost-effective pain relief for musculoskeletal neurological pain. And we also work on a respiratory system for a cough, you know, people who catch a cold, uh, digestive system, people who have IBS, who have ulcerative colitis, constipation, diarrhea, they come in, and gynecology, which is Dr. Yan's specialty. So we do help a lot of people with their menstrual problems, with their fertility issues. So Dr. D, at the intern clinics, are the interns, obviously they're hands-on, uh, but is it only them? Well, they are actually under very close supervision. Oh, so there is from, supervision. From, uh, you know, expert practitioners. I was also reading that you're going to be the first school to have a wellness center and tea house. I open a school, is for student. I open a clinic, is for patient. But how about you? How about all the people? Actually, wellness center for us, we learn Tai Chi and Qigong. That was called a Chinese ballet. Fantastic, I love it. All right, so for our viewers, Dr. D, who'd like more information, where do they go? Well, they go to atom.edu and or to visit the uh, wellness center, they visit the clinic. They will give, you know, offer a tour of the school. Fantastic. All right, so that's adam.edu. A-T-O-M dot E-D-U. You got some big shoes to fill, don't you? 
Thank I you. see a bright future. Thank you. It's going to be a great future. Thank you so much for coming in, and thank you for taking the time to tell us about everything that you've you. done. Thank you. Thank you. you. And maybe I'll do a little bit of acupuncture on that, the muscles here to get them moving. I'm waiting for you. All right. And then I can look maybe 10 years younger? Much more. Gosh, I'm certainly there. All right, so for more information, it's adam.edu. That's A-T-O-M dot E-D-U. You can also just go to our website. It's really easy, thebalancingact.com. Coming up, Chef Ralph Pagano has some savory dishes to make homemade meals without all the hassle. Time to soup up the flavor in your main meals, sides, and sauces with delicious seasonings from Orrington Farms. They are my secret ingredients for perfect homemade dishes. You know, Orrington Farms is American-made and family-owned. Orrington Farms provides flavorful mealtime enhancements made with quality ingredients so you can make delicious homemade meals without all the hassle. Today, I'm feeling saucy, so I'm making a classic bolognese sauce right here on my stovetop. What's going on here right now? I started this with carrots and celery, a little bit of garlic, and I got ground beef all coming together. Could you use pork and lamb in this as well? For sure, it would be a great secret. Now, this is all browned up. I'm gonna add some of my other ingredients. But what do I have? I've got tomato paste. Tomato paste is nice. It's a little sweet, but it's gonna give us some development and give a little bit of strength to our sauce. I like a little strength. Spin that around. I like the earthiness that I get from mushrooms, so mushrooms enter my party. I like being tipsy, so red wine comes in here too. You'll thank me for it. Tomato puree. Can't make bolognese without tomato puree. Give that a roll around. Let everything start to get to know each other. You can smell the mushrooms and the wine and the meat. Now, it's all about the seasoning. Salt and black pepper. I've got a mixture of nutmeg, oregano, and garlic right here. And then my super secret that I've been telling you all about. Right here, Orrington Farms beef base. I add a little bit of my Orrington Farms beef base. I call it magic dust, man. This stuff makes me look good in a snap. Speaking of snap, let me show you some of the other recipes that I made nice and easy. Over here, I've got chili con huevos. We use the beef base for this as well. Develop that chili flavor so it's quite delicious. A couple of fried eggs, Fresno peppers, jalapenos, and cornbread. You got yourself a meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It doesn't matter. For this, these are chicken meatballs. So what did I use? The low sodium Orrington Farms chicken base. It's great, it's not salty at all, and it makes the flavor of the chicken really pronounced. I could do it Parmesan style, I could do it Thai style, I could do it Swedish style, I could do it Chinese style, whatever kind of meatball you like, you can make happen. And how about if you're feeling sassy? Some of that chicken base goes a long way in my rice. Make a traditional rice pilaf using the Orrington Farms chicken base, add to it some toasted pistachios, red peppers, carrots, onions, garlic. It is absolutely fantastic. Keep it in the fridge. You got it for Sunday supper. It's always all good. Now let's get back to the sauce. Bolognese, as I say. You can smell it's really starting to come together right here. This needs a couple of minutes to cook. You know, the great thing about Orrington Farms is you can do it any way you like. You want to do it on the stove top? Do it. You want to do it in the oven? Do it. You want to do it in the pressure cooker? Do it. You want to do it in the slow cooker? Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Just make sure you're doing it with Orrington Farms. That's slide over here. The sauce smells absolutely divine. I get it all. The carrots, the celery, the garlic. Man, this is so good. Now I'm going to spoon some of this on top of my already cooked pasta. You know, and if pasta's not your game, maybe you like mashed potatoes, maybe you like naan bread, maybe you like toasted French bread, whatever it is, this bolognese sauce goes great all over it. And be sure to look out for their meal creations line. They're delicious one-dish meal solutions that you can cook any way you like it. Stovetop, oven, slow cooker, or pressure cooker. Head to orringtonfarms.com for more information or visit our website, thebalancingact.com. Remember, this has been a quick bite. But chew slowly. Wow, that's good. We've got a Royism from Roy Assad. Don't go anywhere. So this is a great tip for entrepreneurs. If you are an entrepreneur and you're doing everything yourself, you are not going far. 
We call that the Lone Ranger mentality. That is not so good. Actually, I, even the Lone Ranger had Tonto, as you know. So if you are an entrepreneur, I recommend that you go and discover what it is that you're uniquely qualified to do. That means you love what it is, you spend all your day doing it, and you don't care how much time it takes. The coach, Dan Sullivan, he's an executive coach, said unique ability is what drives executives to excellence. So discover what it is that you're uniquely qualified to do, almost born to do, love to do, and delegate the rest. And that's the secret for success. If you've been suffering from a recurrent or chronic infection, you're not alone. In fact, if that infection is a urinary tract infection or UTI, the numbers may surprise you. It's estimated that 150 million UTIs occur yearly worldwide, accounting for six billion in healthcare costs. Today, we're sharing a very personal story of one woman who's been suffering from UTIs for nearly 45 years. It started in my early 20s and uh, chronic urinary tract infections from early 20s till now. Since the early 70s, Raylene Billerbeck has been suffering from UTIs, a chronic condition that has taken a toll on her entire life. The only way that they could diagnose me was with the scope, and then I would get treatment. But after I would keep going back, not feeling well, knowing that I had an infection, and then they would, they would do the urine culture, your urine culture always came back negative. So I would not get medicine. So I'd stay home until I was bleeding, go back, and then the, the urine culture would test positive, and I would get antibiotics. So you would have to wait until it was really severe because these urine cultures were coming back negative. Yeah. There were many, many infections where I was just bleeding heavily. Enduring the pain and discomfort, she always felt exhausted and drained physically and emotionally. The UTIs continued, and after 20, 30, even 40 years, it affected her professionally and personally. I had gone to two doctors. They both uh, scoped me, so they, they saw what my bladder looked like, right? They saw the infection, and they treated it. But then, uh, over time, I would keep going back, saying, I have an infection, I don't feel well, and get negative results. And they, they both actually said, it's all in your head. Dr. Roscoe Nelson has been a practicing urologist for almost 20 years. And like a lot of doctors, he had to rely on traditional cultures to diagnose the cause of infections. And unfortunately, those cultures were not useful. For hundreds of years, we have, at least since the late 1850s, the only thing we've had to diagnose a urinary tract infection is a culture. And we know that cultures only grow out about 1% of all the known bacteria and fungi that we know about. For years, it's been very frustrating. Patients would come in and they'd had UTI symptoms. You knew they had a UTI, they knew they had a UTI, and yet the culture was negative. And you were stuck not knowing how to treat them. Until now, an exciting new technology called Next Generation DNA Sequencing, an innovative tool that is giving doctors and their patients the answers they need. This is great technology, and uh, I've been working with Microgen DX for about four years. And what they do is they'll take whatever sample it is, whether it's urine or whatever body part that they're worried about being infected, and they're doing some really incredible things with, with bone, with joints, with prosthesis, with other, with other parts, with wound infections. But from a, from a urologist standpoint, they'll take the urine and they will look at it and their technology is able to get an exact sequence of DNA, compare it to this catalog of over 30,000 known bacteria and fungi and tell you exactly what is in the urine. Precise data that is giving doctors a more accurate diagnosis. Bacteria and fungi have DNA and we can identify exactly who they are, what they are, what their tendencies are, what they're sensitive to. So we don't have to guess what's going on. We can send this test in and it's gonna, it doesn't care. It's going to look at all the DNA, select it out, identify it, compare it to a, data, a huge database of bacteria and fungi and tell us what it is. The right tool that provides the right key to unlock the door to some much needed answers. It looks at the DNA, compares it to the catalog, and says, this is what you have, this is what you need to treat with, and it makes it easy. 
Most patients I see that have these recurrent urinary tract infections have been to their primary care physician, they've been to their gynecologist, they've been to a dozen urgent care centers, and they're, they're just going on this merry-go-round. And what we're thinking is, we're just gonna do the same thing with the same information and the, and the results are gonna change. It doesn't work that way. And so what this does is it gives us new information, new targets to aim at, and helps us be more successful and gets them off that merry-go-round of antibiotic pain, antibiotic pain. Which must be a relief for these patients. It's huge for the patients. They get their life back. Like Raylene, who is feeling better, looking forward, and finally, after so many years of suffering, living life to its fullest. All these years, I haven't had much hope. I'm like, just don't go back in the revolving door. <laughs> just don't, don't get back in there. And now I think there's hope. I mean, especially talking to Dr. Nelson, we've got things we can try now, and we can try them and we can, we can now actually see if they're working or not before we were just like in the dark are we getting results or not so i know uh, that's invaluable and i am really grateful to have that thank you so much for sharing your story with us you are an amazing woman oh well thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk about microchin and if you would like to learn more about next generation dna sequencing we'd love for you to visit microgendx.com Thanks so much for watching this local edition of The Balancing Act. And we'll see you next time.